Greetings and salutations, everyone. It has come to my attention that I have not talked about a Nintendo product in quite some time. So, I only have one question to ask you. You know about four? Maybe even, a uh, inflation? Because this game has both of those things. Have you ever heard of a little-known game called Mario and Luigi's Bowser Inside Story? One of my favorite games as a little child, you know. You know, this is the only game where I can say that I was inside Bowser and I, uh, I yes, defeated an evil gremlin. We trust our successors to do the same for us! You know, I used to play this game back on my, uh, my Nintendo DS. Anytime my brother was playing the Xbox, pop that baby up on the Nintendo DS. Uh, especially some good times when, uh, when my Nintendo DS had a detachable screen after it fell onto a, uh, hard tiled floor. Ah, nothing like the good old days, but it's time we talk about the game, no more about reminiscing about the past. This is one of the few Mario RPGs out there, but unlike the others, at least to my knowledge, this is the only one where you can play as Bowser, who is so utterly broken that he will use the art of suicide bombing to commit mass murders and genocide to pretty much any boss that walks in front of him. Besides Bowser, there's also the good old classic of Mario and Luigi, who I can best uh, describe by giving you one good piece of advice. If the enemy is on the ground, bash its brains in. But if it's flying, use the boots. Another good piece of advice, use the power of the stars to pretty much kill everything in about a few hits. Like most RPGs, you'll be leveling up your character and uh, finding or purchasing better equipment for him. But, unlike most RPGs, to my knowledge, this game uses a great system of uh, class disparity, denying me service because my social standing in the Mushroom Kingdom isn't high enough because I haven't killed enough individuals out in the world. So, it is official. The Mushroom Kingdom's economy is run off by murdering anything that moves. You know, this is an RPG, so you're going to be fighting a multitude of uh, enemies, you know, and they got a good variety here. Uh, basically, anything that can be found inside or outside the human body, you're going up against. Alright, amoebas, bugs, red blood cells, cancer. <laughs> anything that can be found is there. Uh, the thing that doesn't make sense is uh, fighting giant sunflowers or trees. If you can make one good excuse why Bowser is uh, is getting fought by a giant tr a trees, sunflowers, a literal 10-foot-tall fire-breathing turtle is getting picked on by uh, agriculture, then you can have my entire homework folder, all right? everything that's in there you know what's in there but you'll never know exactly what's in there so until then it's all mine and no it doesn't just stop there with the with trees bowser in some cases can't even go ultra instinct and you know what he does when he goes ultra instinct he proceeds to fight uh homes uh, trains even He's like your dad when he gets too drunk and he thinks he's Goku, alright? He's unhinged. Now, the story is quite interesting. So interesting, in fact, that the final boss has probably one of the best songs that I've ever heard in my entire life. And in my opinion, is uh, one of the main reasons why you should all go and play this. And, also, this is so interesting, is that the last three bosses are so goddamn infuriating that... They had to make me change the game to baby mode. You failed! <laughs> I understand how bad that is, but I You're fucking disgusting. hate that. I'm gonna kill you. Give me $200. The game starts out in the Mushroom Kingdom, where the entire Mushroom Kingdom has been infected with a disease that uh, causes people to inflate. Oh. So... Peach calls together the League of Nations, leaving out Bowser, as he is uh, technically Germany of the Mario world. So Bowser eats a mushroom that was given to him by Lord Fawful and now inhales everything in his path. 
this gives Fawful the chance to take over the Mushroom Kingdom as well as the Bowser Kingdom. So, it truly is just like World War II. For some time, Mario and Luigi would uh, play around in uh, Bowser's body looking for key people like Peach and uh, uh, what, whoever the hell else is important. I don't know because I don't really care about them. They would even find shops inside Bowser's body going to show that you can take away capitalism from the people, but you can't take away capitalism from the soul. Mario and Luigi would go around basically hitting every nerve that Bowser could possibly have in his system, giving him carpal tunnel, uh, and also forcing him to wake up. Uh, he would be located in an abandoned ship with no fire and no bitches. Bowser, after waking up, proceeds to head back to his home. He's feeling a bit eepy, a bit sleepy even. But, we got a big problem, boys. Some pig or armadillo monster. I don't know really what he is. He's he's the sec he's the right hand man to, to Lord Fawful. And guess what? We gotta kick his ass. Yes! And to be honest, he kinda sucks ass. Even when he gets like ice powers, which is like like the one of the last few bosses, he still kind of blows at his job he sucks now here's the here's the great thing bowser's minions so so loveling and caring that after bowser's victory they decide to give him a generous offering of uh, gorging his face full of food um this is both forcefully and uh and uh, voluntarily kind of on him this man grows so absolutely large that he just he breaks through the floor because he's such a fat piece of shit and he gets stuck mario and luigi take this chance with bowser being an obese uh, piece of shit to look for princess peach and they're successful until fawful fuck? uses a, what the a, fuck a is this? hand ray or what i don't know what that the, is not he somehow you has technology to reach inside of bowser's body and take out peach this is a complete side note, by the way. Lord Fawful is evil, right? He wants to take over the, 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 the kingdom. And yet this guy has powers to make uh, black holes. He would have won. Like, many times. I don't think there's any world where this guy just doesn't win. This guy has so much technology that is beyond my even human comprehension. And somehow he loses. Anyway... He, he, he grabs Peach from inside uh, Bowser's body and is going to use her woman energy to summon the Dark Star. The Dark Star is bad, by the way. Bowser now completely falls to the floor and after running on a treadmill for about like three seconds, loses all the calories that he had gained from eating like 300,000 pounds and proceeds to head now, to Pr Princess Peach's up. castle nowhere, to nigga. get Peach. Thing. But before his journey even begins, he decides to take a bit of an electricity bath and uh, completely fails at his mission. Like, utterly. Mario and Luigi, they just decide to peace out from this man's body and then try to get the Dark Star bef for themselves before Fawful can even reach it. Guess what? They also fail pretty miserably. Fawful now with both Princess Peach and the Dark Star locks himself in Princess Peach's castle using, like, evil spirits to block the way or something. So, Mario and Luigi decide to talk to a witch, and the witch tells them how they can defeat Fawful and remove these barriers. They need uh, three magic things. I literally do not remember what they're called for the, for the life of me. Couldn't tell you. All I remember is that you gotta find three sages. One is in a bug, uh, the other one is in Bowser's safe, and the last one is on a mountain being held by a monk. All of them needing to have the loving embrace of a hammer. Works great. The witch now, with all of these orbs collected from the sages, uses it to cure this inflation disease, as well as unlock Peach's castle, where the game will have its final showdown between Mario, Luigi, and Bowser versus Fawful and the Dark Star. Who, uh, I know I'm not going into a lot of detail here about the story, but Bowser eats the Dark Star at one point, 
and then the Dark Star proceeds to eat its, its chromosomes. <laughs> as stupid as that sounds, that's what happens. And he becomes Dark Bowser. Truly evil. It would all end with Bowser beating the ever-living hell out of Dark Bowser with a glorious punch. And the day was saved. And even Bowser would get a bit of a cake in celebration. How wholesome. In conclusion, if you like Mario and you like RPGs, then I couldn't recommend this game more. I love this game. It's fun. It's simple. And I mean, this is just a great nostalgia trip. I mean, it's 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 wonderful. These games are only on the Nintendo DS and the 3DS. So uh, if you're trying to get your hands on them, uh, good luck. These are very old games. Very, very old. There are some dubious ways to get them. I'm not going to show you where, but you know they're out there. Um, anyway, thank you. More videos to come. So like, sub, and bye. A lonely electron with nothing to do. Bears up with the neutron for a cocktail or two. Tom the kiss ass, survived by a few. Yeah. Nuclear blast. Said the electron to the...